Uh, on defence, uh, this has been a, um, a good budget for defence uh, and the, the message uh, for, uh, for people who are in the Naval Service, in the Air Corps or in the Army uh, is essentially that um, uh, the cuts are over. Um, uh, each year for the last seven years the defence budget has been reducing. That is now over. Uh, there's no reduction for next year. Uh, and in fact, we are going to be able to afford uh, to, uh, to finance uh, the purchase of three new ships. One of them has already been delivered, the Samuel Beckett. Uh, the James Joyce will be arriving in January or February of next year. And there'll be a third new ship also financed, which will be arriving in the first qu quarter of 2016. Each of this, these ships cost about 70 million euros. There'll also be enough money to, uh, to upgrade um, a series of, um, um, of equipment uh, within the Army Defence Forces and within the Air Corps as well. Uh, I hope to be able to build on next year's budget um, to increase expenditure in defence, but that will be on the back of a new white paper that we're developing at the moment uh, for, uh, to give a clear policy direction for defence for the next 10 years. So we hope to have a first draft of that new white paper by the end of the year. That there'll be a consultation in the first quarter of next year and we hope to finalise it then after that. And that will be the basis hopefully for an increasing defence budget into the future rather than what we've seen over the last five or six years.